They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. Cause you'll fight, you'll rebel, you more than one together. However you go, ever and ever after high. And so, as the sun set on ever after high, The students were getting fairest for the big dance. the True Hearts dance tonight. What? Why? Briar is planning it. And if I can get her in trouble with Headmaster Grimm, then there'll be a new opening in the royal ranks. You know what? I am done with you. What's ruffled your feathers? I, Sparrow Hood, the rockingest, handsomest guy in this school, can't find out where the dance is. No one will tell me because I'm friends with you. Well, someone around here must know something. You really think anyone's gonna tell you the truth? There's one person at this school who's cursed to. your kind kudos, fair maiden. <laughs> hey, guys, who's DJing tonight? We got the daughter of the Pied Piper, Melody Piper! <laughs> what up, Ever After? Ready for me to drop some True Hearts tunes? Yay! <laughs> then follow me. This next chapter day saw a 30% rise in our semi-magical creature attendance Psst. rates, which, <clears throat> when you compare that to... Psst. Excuse me. Duchess Swan, I'm addressing the entire magical community on the mirror net at this very moment. I know, and I'm so sorry to disturb you, but there's something I just thought you had to know about. Which is? I hate to tell on my friends, but some students are having a secret True Hearts Day dance. Show me where. <sighs> So, 300 autographs later, my quill finally gives out. But there are a hundred more girls in Daring. line. Daring, Daring, uh, can we talk for a minute? Of course, yes. I wanted to thank you for that poem you left on my locker. Um, I never wrote you a poem. You didn't? But it says right here, D. Charming. <gasps> Dexter. Hi, Dex. <laughs> so, not exactly a happy True Hearts Day, huh? Why does my brother always get the girl? It's not fair. Maybe you should stop thinking so much about your brother and, um, concentrate on someone else? Uh, who? You! You spend so much time comparing yourself to Daring, you forget you're great, just the way you are. Really? Cross my heart. Thanks, Cupid. It was Dexter! <gasps> Can you believe it? And Dex, he's so sweet and cute. And I'm gonna tell him that I... <gasps> I'm too late. Where is this party? Not much further. Now, since 
True Hearts Day hasn't been celebrated in such a long time. I wanted to tell everyone what it's all about. Once upon a time, there grew a very special tree. The Heart Tree. And even if the winter was harsh and the other trees failed to bloom, the Heart Tree blossomed no matter what. And so, our fairy tale ancestors gave the blossoms to each other on True Hearts Day to show that even though it's not always easy, true love will always find a way. And so, to encourage all of us to follow our true heart, to you. Can I... Hunter? When I listen to my true heart, it tells me that you're my Prince Charming. Aww. Uh, but how can you be a royal and date Hunter? I don't know. But if writing our own happily ever after means I can't be a royal, then call me Ashlyn Ella the Rebel. Yeah! <gasps> I'd like to give this to you, Hunter. If you'll have it. Of course. Oh, yeah! Apple! I'm so sorry. I just had to do what... Why are you giving this to me? I might be worried about you, and I might think you're doing the wrong thing, but I want you to know that we'll always be friends, no matter what. That's what's in my true heart. Thanks, Apple. You are the best. <laughs> I know. This is literally the best day ever. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Don't be a worry, Flurry. Let's party! <laughs> mine, 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 mine! Huh. Hey, Cupid. Have you seen Cedar? I can't find her anywhere. Oh, Cedar had something royally important to do tonight. There it is. Trying to practice here. Miss Swan, detention! What? Where are they? You totally got what you deserved! Yeah! You told Cedar the wrong spot, because you knew Duchess would try to get it out of her. <laughs> yep. Then she left me a note back in the dorm telling me the real party was here. Now that is a happy ending. Now I have to say, my true heart agrees. So the invitation says, just head into the Enchanted Forest, and the party will lead us to it. I see two girls alone in the wilderness. What's that? It's a bush. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a little scared of the woods. I mean, who knows what'll happen when it gets dark? Ah! Someone's watching. The trees are closing in on me. Huh? I just can't take it anymore. Um, Cupid, we haven't even left school yet. Oh, hi, girls. Guess what? I get to cover the Blue Moon Forest Fest for my mirror cast, and I got an extra ticket. Did somebody say extra ticket? Hey, Belle. Wow. There really was someone watching us. Watching you? Oh, no. I was just passing by. And I overheard that my good friend Blondie Locks here had a plus one invitation to the fest. So come along now. Let's hit the cobblestones. Hi, guys. I'm ready to go. Oh, you're Blondie's plus one guest. Yeah, well, Blondie wanted someone to do her hair. Who's your friend? Guys, this is Faybelle. We'd bring you if we could, honest. But we can't. Well, then, you four had better get going. We'll make it up and do something together when we get back. Sounds great. If you ever do get back. Why, hello there, Cerise. <laughs> easy, easy. I was just wondering if you could give me a little travel advice. Um, I guess. Let's say I'm an innocent traveler in these parts. 
What's the worst and most horribly dangerous mistake I could make? Well, there's that. Enchanted forest is to the right. Dark forest is to the left. The worst mistake you could make is to go into the dark forest. Anyway, gotta run. Wait, but you just said... Uh, who cares? How do we handle their rejection? Send them in the wrong direction. The fork in the path should be right up there. All we have to do is follow that sign right into the enchanted forest. It doesn't look very enchanted from here. Aw, oh, come on, guys. We don't want to be late. <laughs> Let's see some school spirit. Ow, ow! Who's pumped for the Tri-Cathalon? <laughs> Your spirit outfits are the best of the best. Cedar, today we should focus on the true best of the best. Can you snap some pics for the very last chapter of our yearbook? The tri is the sporting event that ends the school year. Here we have track and sheen. And after training hard all year, Cerise Wood takes the championship. Hunter Huntsman is a favorite in archery. Can't beat that. Best of the best. And the last event of the competition, Extreme Croquet. I am so happy we decided the yearbook should show the most perfect and imperfect moments of the year. Students, it's time to grow our Ever After annual yearbooks. Anyone who wants to witness the planting of this year's e-corn should hurry up to the Legacy Orchard. <laughs> We conclude with the ceremonial planting of the e-corn. Traditionally planted at high noon. The e-corn, please. Apple? Raven? Is there a problem? Nope, no problem. Where's, Where's the e-corn? E I thought you, you had, had it. it. Oh, no. We left it on the bleachers. <gasps> I have an idea. Got it. Tell me you girls lost it. It'll be planted in a matter of moments. Perfect. I love it. What a great year. Fine work, yearbook committee. We hope future classes will love reading this yearbook as much as we loved making it. Gather round, children. This yearbook was from a very special class, including the famous Apple White and Raven Queen. They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. But now you're feeling like a different ending. Sometimes you gotta find it on your own. It's an open.